Hi, I'm Chris and this is Marianne and if you're new to our channel, we are in the process of planning to drive our van all the way around the world, leaving in January 2020. And we'd like to welcome you and ask you to subscribe to our channel. So click down below to make sure that you come on this crazy adventure with us. And in this video, we're going to share with you all the journey mm. of prepping and planning the route. Um, all the things to take into consideration and show you all the maps and bits and bobs we've got to plan this journey. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Yeah, it's been an absolute mad time trying to plan um, exactly where we're going. And although the route that we're going to share with you today may well change, um, we thought it was uh, would be really interesting for you all to see where we're planning on driving, uh, maybe touch on a bit about what we're going to see and how long we're going to be in the different countries, a bit of time scales, um, and just and just share that with you. Yeah, there is uncertainty in our voices, you can probably hear, <laughs> because we have um, already put out our route, um, but actually whilst we're doing the research, we've come into a few issues and a few considerations, and also we've got the weather and the visa planning to mm, consider as well. There's lots of bits, isn't there? But it's been really exciting, and we've also been um, looking into the countries and why we should visit them, and it's fascinating. Mm. The world out there is a beautiful place, and we're super excited excited to share. Since our journey's begun, we have been so blessed because we have met the mm. most amazing people all over Ireland and Europe and Central America. We've had a fantastic connective um, <clears throat> relationship with the people we've met. And in fact, it spurred us on to create a map. Uh, we had bits of paper and business cards and things mm. from so many people, didn't and we? I, and I think so, so many of you guys have actually messaged us. Yeah email or comments on YouTube mm -hmm. and said you know you've got to go here or can we come there yeah. or can you come and see us or we'd love to show you around uh, our hometown mm. and that's like so so nice we're properly properly touched by that aren't we we really are um offers of friendship all over the world and it spurred us on to actually create a map and we've called it the friends of tread map and um rather than having bits of paper and mm. books and um things i've actually created a map and i've pinned people people that we've met so this is the uh friends of tread map and you can see that already we've got quite a few places pinned and it's growing it would be fabulous to meet as many of you as we can whilst we drive around the world and if you want to show us um your hometown or local food or just want to be part of our um video series then please do message us because we would love to connect with you as we're driving on this epic journey. And I have to say, we're a little bit bare in Mongolia and Kazakhstan. So if you're watching from there or have any contacts, we would love to hear from you. And in fact, there are a few more contact emails that I got this morning from Russia. So we're really excited about this. Absolutely. Um, we also have a second map, which is our epic road trip map. And there I've actually, we've got our rough idea of our route and I've pinned places to visit. Places that you guys have told us about, places that you want us to go and visit and film and share. So we'll get as many of those as we can. And we also have a website, um, which is really beautiful. I know I'm biased, but Chris <laughs> has spent a lot of time with our friend and tech guy, Dean, to create something really interactive and really open about what we're doing, including a um, newsletter that you can subscribe to. And also we do um, blogs as well on how we can afford it and a financial monthly sheet. So um, that's really 
really exciting for me to be able to share all of that with you. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm just trying to fold the map so we can share it. Maps in a small van don't work very well. <laughs> we'll get there, hold on. So the plan is, like we've said in previous videos, that we're going to be leaving at the beginning of Jan. In fact, it's the 4th of January, the first Saturday in Jan. We are leaving from the Telford area at 12 p.m. So we'll put some details um, on future posts on our social media. You're more than welcome to come and give us a wave off. The more the merrier. Absolutely. Give us a send off. Woohoo! Just in case we don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we're going to be leaving, we're going to be leaving Telford and then um, heading straight down south um, towards the bottom of England where we're going to catch up with some family um, on the first night before we head to Dover to get the ferry over to France. And we are super excited because we've just done the NEC show and we met loads of people and they said, why don't you just ask people for things? So we actually contacted DFDS and Yeah, because we've used, we've used DFDS loads, loads. Um, this year already. We've got family in Holland, so we go there a lot. So we thought we'd actually approach them because we've used them. Mm. And um, they very kindly, very kindly offered us a complimentary um trip over the channel with the fds and we're going to meet them i think for a photo have a have a, a, a photo um in front of their offices before we leave yeah, we haven't contacted any other ferries we didn't bother we literally thought yeah. well, we use them so let's try them so we are going to be going from dover to dunkirk mm, and then uh, dunkirk we're yeah. going to drive to calais to catch up with our friend q um, and he's got a patisserie shop called um Angelique or An An Les Anges, which is the angels, and they uh -huh. do the best croissant pain au chocolat. So we should be there for breakfast time, which will be lovely. Mm. And because it's January, the plan is that we're going to head south mm -hmm. um, to obviously try and find slightly warmer climates. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head down through France. Mm -hmm. um, Marianne's got a sister that lives in France, um, Ali. So we're going to go and catch up with her before heading to the bottom of France um, yeah. and then into Italy. Yeah, and I've always had this thing, you know how you've got these iconic places. Um, we're actually going to stop Trudy in Monaco <clears throat> because I've always mm. wanted to get a photograph of Trudy with the Casino Royale where all the rich and famous <laughs> people go. Why can't Trudy go? So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swing by just for a photo, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll try and take some cool photos of Trudy in front of iconic landmarks as we go around. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be in the north um, of Italy. Yep. Um, not sure on the exact time frame there. Probably um, middle of Jan um, in the top of Italy, yeah. and then we've got we've basically got until the beginning of may may beginning of may beginning of may we've got to be on the georgian border with russia yes so we're going to be heading down the coastline um yeah we're going to go across northern italy and then we're going to go over into slovenia so that is really exciting because that's somewhere we haven't been yet. That's not a country we've visited. Um, and we have I've been pinning um, places to see and Slovenia looks mm. beautiful. Oh, it looks amazing. We're not sure what the weather's going to be like. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty cold January, mm -hmm. February, March. But we're going to hug along the coastline mm. because it tends to be a little bit warmer by yeah, the coast. Yeah, exactly. Lower down. Absolutely. Um, and then into the top of Greece yeah i love greek through food. albania and possibly dipping into north macedonia and then into northern greece now we love greek food that's oh. some that's food we know souvlaki yeah we Moussaka. Love, yeah and we've met some amazing greek people so we're really excited about that i'm excited about eating food as we go around generally and if i can <laughs> most places um, well, we don't know. I think that's part of the excite excitement for us is we're going on the most epic, extraordinary journey and we're going to share everything, whether it's the food, whether it's the people, the locations, uh, the weather, how we manage living in the van, mm. uh, whether we kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so it's going to be really good fun. And going um, from Greece into Turkey, mm. um, for we're going to hug. I think we're going to hug the northern coastline. Yes, we're all along the Black Sea. So um, it looks beautiful online, uh, but we're going to be sharing what we see. Oh my goodness! Oh, and the food, yeah. Turkish food, is beautiful too. Beautiful too. Now um, our visas for Russia are going to be starting at the beginning, uh, first couple of weeks of May. Fingers crossed. We haven't um, got them yet. No, that's still happening. That's working on in the background. Um, so from Turkey, we're going to go up into Georgia. Now, Georgia has a few issues, although the visa is not one of them. As British citizens, mm. we can go into Georgia... For a year. For a whole year. Visa we free. Visa free. This is a real good thing for us because we have a space. There is a country that we don't have any restrictions, really. So that's really mm. exciting. Now, the um, Turkey visa, going back... Yeah. The Turkey, oh, visa yeah. wise, we're okay until we get to the border of Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, Turkey, we need a visa, but you can apply for that online. Yes. Um, so I've got that on our calendar, so we remember to do that before we get there. Yeah, because actually, some of the visas, in fact, a lot of the visas, you can't apply now for in six months or a year's time mm. so we've had to not only take into consideration how long the visa will last but also the time that the earliest date yeah. that you can apply how for far it. In advance. so chris has been going through that creating and, spreadsheets and also some of them you have to go to the embassies yes. and you can't do online so again yes. that's uh you know when they're like say you gotta go to to the london london embassy and you're like but i'm not in england anymore i've left so, <laughs> so yeah, yeah we've had a lot of that so um turkey so we'll have the visa for turkey and then um as marianne said we'll be heading up into georgia yes now we had two two kind of routes that we could have taken mm. we could have gone um across from azerbaijan mm. we found a boat that goes across the Cap caspian sea into kazakhstan yeah um, which would be a hell of an experience mm -hmm. um and researching in fact the foreign office website is a br brilliant and your own countries probably yeah, have resource. their own resource but the yeah. uh, we use the the uk foreign office mm -hmm. website mm -hmm. and it gives a lot of travel information mm -hmm. some of them warnings about some mm -hmm. aspects there are some in areas of georgia and turkey um, where you're advised not to go um so we're going to have to keep an eye on that as we're traveling uh, which is why this route is flexible depending on the situations of these countries at the time um and it's funny actually because as a bajan and when you look on the Foreign Office website, um, it says that right-hand vehicles aren't allowed. Mm -hmm. um, but from doing research, it seems, don't quote me on this, but it seems that you um, can't import a right-hand drive vehicle. But if it's a temporary import and you're driving across the country, um, it seems that it's allowed. Yeah, you've been looking and joining lots of forums, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, there's lots of overlanding yeah. forums, which are really yeah. good. And I've been reading lots of blogs and just researching. And some of it, the information is very conflicting, really conflicting. Mm. Um, and it takes, you sort of got to have a little bit of courage and just know that when we get there, we might actually arrive at some of the borders and they might just say, no. No, it's closed. Yeah, or, um, yeah so I think... Either you have to find an alternative route or you have to find out what it is that you can do to make it happen. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons that we chose to do it in Trudy. Um, so that we have a vehicle that if we're stuck somewhere or there's a national holiday and we can't cross for five days. It's closed. Or it's yeah. closed. We've actually got a comfortable situation. Exactly. We can in. make videos and just hang yeah. out in the van. No yeah. problem at all. Absolutely. So. Yes. From Georgia. So, yeah. So the first section. So, so just to summarize, from January to the beginning of May will be up to the Georgian Russia border. Yes. And that's quite, I think that's quite a, a generous amount of time. We should have plenty of time to uh, mm -hmm. explore those countries. Mm -hmm. And then Russia. So into Russia. 
Um, and like I say, we're still waiting for our visas. Mm. Um, but we have 90 days on our visa, the visa that we've applied for. So fingers crossed it all goes well. Um, and we are super excited about Russia because my dad has actually done a lot of Russia and has Russian friends and has seen beautiful places. And I've seen his photographs from like 40 years ago of St. Petersburg oh, amazing. and how beautiful it is. Now, unfortunately, because of the route we've taken, which because we're starting in January is actually going to go down through the bottom mm. of um, Europe rather than through the top going bit, to which is what we toyed with originally, but now we're leaving earlier. We're going to go further yeah. south for the for the weather. Um, but I've been looking online and it is beautiful. We're, we're super excited about yeah, Russia. Yeah, we are super excited about Russia. Van life Russia. Yeah. Oh, I'm Ooh. kick. Oh, whoops. Ooh, I'm steady. kicking the tripod. Steady. Easy. The, the joy of... <laughs> The joy of long legs. Yes. Um, so yeah, so we're super excited yeah, about super Russia excited. and uh, yeah, so we, we can't wait to share that with yeah. you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go from Georgia, we're going to go north into Russia <clears> and then we're going to uh, go over the top of part of Kazakhstan and then dip into Kazakhstan, go across all the roads because obviously Trudy is 15 years old, she's a two-wheel mm. front drive. So we are driving Miss Daisy Trudy. We are going to drive it's... her conservatively and carefully. Because this journey is not about crashing <coughs> our home. Oh no, we've got to preserve. Trudy has to make it, so we yeah. don't want to. We don't want to push things with her. But it's interesting looking at Google Maps. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not sure how accurate they are in some of these uh, more unusual countries mm. that aren't ne necessarily travelled as much. Mm. And so we have a lot. We have a lot of, maps. of paper maps. We, we have, have a paper map for every country. And in fact, Mongolia, we've got three because we got three. You need them in the Russian language. You need them in um, the with the English or a European um, alphabet. And showing the showing the elevation yeah. as well as the roads. And, and also the Russian one as well, because sometimes they've said to us that you'll meet uh, Russian people that will be able to help you as well. So we've gone we've gone crazy overboard with the maps. We have lots of maps. Um, Do you know, and that and that's that's an interesting point is actually when you look at Google Maps um, just generally they don't show you so much the elevation mm. um, we've been caught before actually. yeah we have been <laughs> you're suddenly going up a mountain road mm -hmm. that you didn't realize was a mountain <laughs> yeah um, naive mistake yeah. Um, so yeah so we're gonna go through Kazakhstan mm -hmm. and um, back into Russia yeah now what's interesting oh, yeah, Kazakhstan Kazakhstan so to get into Mongolia, mm -hmm. we need a visa. Yes. Um, but it's one of those ones that we need to go to the um, Mongolian embassy yeah, in you London. Can't, you can't do it online. But we're going to be in Russia or Kazakhstan when we need to apply. Mm -hmm. So after talking to, we called the Mongolian embassy. Yeah. Marianne gave them a call and they have said that we need to apply for our visa while we're in Kazakhstan. So there's an embassy in Nur Sultan, mm -hmm. which is the capital of um, Kazakhstan. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go there and try and figure out. So that's going to make an interesting, an yeah, interesting. Yeah, we're going to share that. That will be great. Video. So yeah, so from Kazakhstan, we're going back into Russia, and then, uh, which is why we need a multiple entry visa, mm -hmm. um, because we've, we're crossing in from from Georgia, and then again from Kazakhstan. You have to you have to cross back into. Um, either Russia or China to get into Mongolia. There isn't a route from Kazakhstan straight mm -hmm. into Mongolia. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna cross, we're not sure exactly where yet, but we're gonna cross into Mongolia. I think for me, um, going to Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia, um, that massive monument um, of uh, Genghis Khan, the massive, yeah, we're massive gonna, one. We're going to share a picture of Trudy there. in front of that. Yeah, we have to go there. We watched it on uh, the Joanna Lumley uh, documentary. Oh, that's amazing. Just beautiful. But Mongolia, I'm really looking forward to sort of mm. having some nice places with no light pollution, yeah. looking at the stars. Yeah. Um, Mongolia, the weather should be okay when we're there. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, people say to us about Mongolia, it's one of those places you either love the solitude or hate the solitude. Yeah. Um, and you love the city or you hate the city. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And I think that's part of what we do and how we feel. Um, and again, I've mentioned this before, Chris has created like a diary cam scenario. So we can actually 
sort of share with share, you. Yeah. yeah, because I think that's going to be, this is going to be an epic journey, not just physically with the van and the challenge, but I think emotionally, I mm. think this is going to take us on one epic journey. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So from Ulaanbaatar, mm -hmm. we're going to head back into Russia. Yeah. And then, now we've chosen not to go through China mm -hmm. for a few reasons. Mm -hmm. Firstly, because of cost. Yeah. So to, to drive across China, you need a guide and um you can you have to do that through an agency now mm -hmm. you can if there's a group of you you can split the cost with other mm -hmm. vehicles but because mm -hmm. we're not really sure when we're getting there mm -hmm. it's going to be on our own mm -hmm. um and it's about five thousand pounds to drive across china because you've got yeah. the guide their accommodation their you know their Chinese food, number plate driving license yeah. you have to stick to a route you've agreed and, and with further research going down through Laos into Thailand, um, I found on some blogs and with a bit of research that actually British number plates or any international number plate or camper van. Foreign plates, yeah, I think, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's living in the van situation. The Thai don't like that. Um, so yeah, we've, we're doing something different, aren't we? Yeah, well we've heard, yeah, so we've heard that the Thai border can be, can be closed. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason why we haven't gone through China mm -hmm. because you get bottlenecked and then where do you go if you can't cross the border and your yeah. visa behind you is running out and everything. Yeah. So um, we've had to plan it so that there's a bit of a get out if, if there's a border problem. Mm -hmm. So we're actually gonna go um, around the top of China down to Vladivostok in Russia and from Vladivostok, we're going to put Trudy on a shipping container to Australia. Mm. Um, so the ship will go via South mm. Korea. It's actually into a bond, isn't it? Yeah, so we leave sure it in. Containers. Yeah, we leave it in bond, and then they they fit it. They they put it in either in either a roll on a roll on roll off or into a container, depending if it fits. Um, so we'll, there'll be more on that as we do it. Yeah. Um, and it would take about five ish weeks to ship Trudy to Australia um, and so during that time we're going to probably visit South Korea mm -hmm. and we're going to go to Malaysia and we've got some family and friends meeting us in Malaysia so we're going to do Malaysia and go and catch up with some friends in Borneo. Yeah with our backpacks. Yeah backpacking. Yeah and we're really excited about that we love Malaysia so yeah we'll share that as a backpacking experience. Yeah and then so Trudy's going to arrive in Australia we think down the west coast because most of the shipping routes seem to go down to sort of Brisbane Sydney side mm -hmm. Melbourne mm -hmm. side um, and the, the route that we're going to take around Australia is a little bit under discussion at the moment we've mm -hmm. been told that the west coast is very beautiful and a bit more isolated not built up whereas the the east coast is more barrier yeah. reef and touristy and yeah. uh, and we want to go and see Ayers Rock mm -hmm. so we're mm -hmm. probably going to do a little bit of a Z in Australia yeah. but we're planning I think to spend about four months about yeah. four months and, ag and again we're not really sure exactly of our timings and we'll share it as we go but um, I think as we've mentioned I'm not sure if we've mentioned it before in this video but this challenge is very much about going around the world yeah we've so said that. we will go back yeah. we will go back and spend more time in yeah. Australia this isn't we've done Australia tick uh, there's so these countries you can't are so see big. everything yeah um, now the, the visa for Australia we're gonna have to apply on the road yes. um, online we're not sure how long we can get so that will obviously depend mm. uh, that will affect our time there yeah so then we're gonna ship from Australia somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to probably San Diego. Probably. Now we don't know how long that's gonna to take to ship from Australia across the Pacific, but it's a long way. So mm -hmm. I would imagine that's at least five weeks. Yeah. Um, so we might go to New Zealand during that yeah. time, subject to money and budgets and flights, which we haven't researched yet, or yeah. we may go to sort of Indonesia, Philippines or somewhere. Yeah, we're not really sure. We have researched a bit on the on the costings, but as and when it happens, subject to boats available and flights available, we'll do that. We really want to go to New Zealand and mm. do that. And in fact, one of our followers sent us a link where you can pick up vehicles and drive them from one end of the country to the other. So that's a really good option. Thank you I think for that. Somebody, didn't somebody invite us for, to, for Christmas? We've in, actually been invited for Christmas. In New Zealand? 
in it? New Zealand. Yeah. Because we'll be arriving. It's about that sort of time it, of year. It's about that time. So December-ish. Honestly, that really like made me all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> because what a generous offer! Um, and if that happens, we'll be sharing that our, where we have Christmas. Absolutely. Um, so we. So, so yeah, yeah. So we're, we're looking at shipping probably end of December, beginning of January. Yeah. So we should be in the states by sort of end of January, beginning yeah. of February. And then we're, we're thinking... For Valentine's Day. There you go. Mm. <laughs> we're thinking we might um, be going down into um, Baja yeah. Peninsula, yeah. into Mexico. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to head up the west coast, aren't we? The west coast of the States. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the Grand Canyon. I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Um, and you wanted to go to Las Vegas for a well, photo. Well, I thought you cannot go <laughs> that way and not have a photograph of Trudy in front of the Las Vegas sign. Absolutely. I think that would be incredibly crazy not to. Um, and, and as Chris said about going down to um, the Baja Peninsula, my dad said that when he went there, he saw whales. Oh, amazing. <sighs> That's oh. just up there on my bucket list. So then we're going to head up sort of the west coast, visiting some of the parks mm -hmm. and things up the mm -hmm. west coast of the state. Mm -hmm. And what's amazing is Marianne has found a special oh, beach. Yeah. <laughs> She's found the filming location of... The Goonies. Hey, you guys. Yeah, anyone of our age will get that. Anyone else will be looking at like I love the lunatics. Goonies. So the pirate, the pirate, yeah, where the, the pirate ship code. with the views and stuff. I'm, I'm looking, really looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, we're really um, excited, actually. And then we're going to go up Portland, up to visit Marianne's auntie, Julia, in yeah. Vancouver. And then we're going to drive all the way up into Alaska. We're not wow. sure exactly where in Alaska. There's not that many roads looking looking at it. Yeah. Um, and then... Yeah, in fact, we met a guy uh, in a service station somewhere in the south of the UK who told us do. about a bar in Alaska that we have to go to. So, so yeah, so that, that sounds really interesting. So we're going to come then across Canada. Now, I want to dip back into the States in Michigan yeah. because as a kid... Um, at the age of sort of nine to twelve, we spent some time um, in Michigan, and, and mm. I, I want to trip down memory lane. So we'll mm. take you guys, um, so you can see a bit where I spent some of my childhood. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, Niagara Falls we have to do, Got to do Niagara and Falls. I think it would be so cool to drive Trudy through Manhattan. So watch this space. Yeah, we, we might, don't know. We might go to New York, and then yeah. we're not sure where we're going to ship home. Maybe yeah. from Quebec. Or maybe from New I York. I think we have to go to Quebec because we've had um, several people yeah, we're contact gonna come. us from Quebec. Um, and then we might go down the coast of America. We might go yeah, up. Yeah, depending on the time know. scales, yeah. we may end up going back down sort of towards Florida. Yeah. Or we may be... It depends on the visa stuff. Yeah, I think... Chris is very organised and likes to know what's happening, um, but I'm really pulling him back and saying, let's see where we are, let's not plan too much. So mm. we, we work really well together, actually, from that aspect because... Um, if he wasn't here organising me, A, it would never happen <laughs> because I'd get stuck at a border because we haven't done um, the visas that we need to. Yes, she and, would. <laughs> um, and uh, from the other aspect is I will take him to places that he may not consider because it may not actually work in with his plan. So um, I think we're, we're a gonna, good team. Yeah, I think we're going to work this out and I think we'll solve the problem. So I think, you know, a big part of it has been the visas, mm -hmm. the weather, yes. listening to, to foreign, foreign office advice and political yeah. situations. And uh, one thing's for sure, it's going to be a very cool trip. Wow. So make sure you subscribe to come with us. Watch the advert. Watch the advert. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, um, I think at this point of filming, we actually only have something like 70 days to go. See, somebody posted on Facebook that it was like eight Mondays till Christmas or something, which means we're going really soon. We're going really soon. So, um, yeah. So I hope that sort of helped. Please, please drop us a comment below. Yeah. We want to come to your town. Yeah. We want to come and say hi. Yes. We want to involve you in our travels. And, um, yeah. That's it. We are literally so excited. In fact, we're, we're, we're waking up every morning laughing, aren't we? We're literally like... <laughs>
Oh my gosh, we live in a van and we're going to drive around the world. So we are super Well, we've excited. been on the road for 18 months, so yeah. it, but every morning it still makes me chuckle. Yeah, this is such an epic one for us. It's like amazing. So thank you very much for yeah. watching. We'll see you on the next episode where we're going to give you a bit more of a guided tour around Trudy. Yeah. So you can really see uh, what we've got in the van. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in yeah. fact, any questions or things you want to know about Trudy before we know. film, yeah. drop a comment below or private message us or um, subscribe to the newsletter and we let you know a little bit more about real time of where we are and what mm. we're doing. Um, but send us a message and we'll include it in the next video. That would so, be cool. Until the next time, Yay. we will see you very soon. Bye for now. Take care. And if you're new to our channel, we have got a YouTube... No, that's rubbish. Why am I saying YouTube channel? We're not sure. Obviously, it's their winter. Sorry, noise of mats, paper mats. I'm going to switch over. <laughs> it's Well, she's quite small. She's only six metres long, so it's a bit tricky. Yeah, and with further research, actually going down through Thailand into Laos. Sorry, going through... Cut. Cut. Hold on. Three, two, one, back in the room.